or so. So um, not necessarily in this case, but just in general. So it's always good to be prepared. It's always good to have a plan in place. Speaking of peak hurricane season, look at our hurricane uh, satellite imagery here, at least our tropics imagery. Those are seven areas that we're currently watching. Two of those are tropical storms, seven areas. So if this doesn't say peak hurricane season to you, I don't know what will. Let's talk about the disturbances here. So we already have those storms. So those will not be a threat to Florida, but there's two disturb well, actually three disturbances. One is looking like it's not going to be much of a problem as it currently is bringing in a good bit of rain to the eastern seaboard. But uh, one disturbance in the Gulf, the first one here I'm talking about will travel kind of south of Florida or at least across Florida and then potentially develop in the Gulf once it makes its way over there. And then another one already in the Gulf right near us in Florida will continue to track west and then eventually more so to the southwest as we get into the next several days. Both have low chances of development, but of course something that the Gulf states will have to watch. Now these areas, or at least closer to Africa, are definitely in the areas you're going to have to watch. Two disturbances there now. Uh, one has a high chance of developing over the next few days here. Uh, and as we get into the weekend, we could have a, uh, we could have a depression. And then another one right behind it, it is uh, expected to uh, merge this wave off of Africa, it has a low chance of developing now than a moderate chance of developing as we get into the next five days. Both areas are very important to watch. They could track west and they could become a threat, but we still have a lot of time to watch out for those potential storms there. Taking